Hello, I'm James, and welcome to Chasm Corner. Today, I'll be bringing you seven big astronomical events coming in 2017. One actually undergoing to next next week, uh, actually, from the day this video will be released. And then one of them hasn't happened. This event hasn't happened since 1979, and I'll tell you what that is coming up on Cosmic Corner. So, first off, we're going to go ahead and go into next week. We're going to go in order how things are going to happen. So, we're going to go with February 11th. A meteor, ah, lied, a comet is going to come swinging by Earth. Um, this comet is called uh, 45P HMP. It's coming by February 11th. All right, so it reaches closest point in the Earth to closest point to the Earth at only 7.7 .7 million miles. So you should be able to catch this thing with the naked eye. Um, you should be able to. No, not everyone will. So I would still suggest bringing out that telescope to see if you can uh, go ahead and get sights on this distant fuzzy um, ice. Ice. Uh, you know. You know, it's hard to explain because I've never really seen a comet, so I don't really know what they look like. But I'm going to be looking out for this one. Um, I have pictures if you can already see them. That's what you should be looking for right there. Boom. All right. Next is going to be, if you live in the northern hemisphere, this ain't really going to um, affect you at all. You know, you're going to see it. If you live in the southern hemisphere, such as um, places like Africa and uh, so, uh, South America, you should be able to see this. There's going to be a ring of fire. There's going to be an annular eclipse, and it's going to make a ring of fire appear in the sky because the um the moon is not going to cover up the entire sun. It's going only going to um cover up the middle section, so it's going to appear like a ring of fire in the sky. It's going to be really really cool. I wish I could see this, but I live in the northern hemisphere. I live in um America, so I have to deal with northern hemisphere events. But I figured I'd bring you this one because it's marked, and this one will be on February 26th, so not too long. I that comet swings by that the Southern Hemisphere is also going to get another show to see a bigger show, more visual show than that comet coming by. Because you're going to have to look for that comet. On March 29th, next month, the month after, uh, Mercury, Mars, and the Moon are going to do something crazy in the sky. The sun can be too crazy, so don't don't get your hopes up. But all right, so the crescent moon from the moon, um, the, yeah, the crescent moon is going to form a triangle between Mars and Mercury. It's going to be it's just going to be one of those things that probably may never happen again. So I would definitely be looking out the sky on March 29th to see this event. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be crazy. It's kind of hard more hard to explain. Um, but yeah, so definitely look. It's going to be creating a, a triangle. It's just it's just one of those things. It's not really an astronomical event, more like a coincidence. But still, it's something really cool we should look at, and it's probably something you're not going to be able to see again after um march 29th it's not going to be like an annual thing you know so i'll definitely be looking out for that one after that april 10th there will be the moon meets jupiter which is what i mean by that is um they're going to pair up in the sky and they're going to rise together and it's this the jupiter is going to look huge next to the moon it's going jupiter is actually going to be at its um what do you call it it's, it's opposition to where and it's the brightest and biggest in the sky and it's going to be right beside the moon. So um, that's going to be April 10th. So keep looking for that. So if you see the moon, Jupiter should be right next to it. It should be a really big, bright um, star. But it's not a star. It's a, it's a planet. But you should be able to see that really good Jupiter coming real nice. You should be able to find your telescope and pull it and put it right at Jupiter. No problem at all. It's actually coming huge. And you should actually get very good images of Jupiter from your telescope. All right. So here's the big one. I need you to mark this on your calendars. This hasn't happened since 1979 on August 21st. If you live in North America, if you live in North America, more like in the middle of North America, you see it the best. But there's going to be a total solar eclipse. This is huge. This hasn't have been. This hasn't happened since 1979. I think next one. If you miss this one, the next one's not going to be until I believe 2024 is the next solar eclipse in North American skies. So if you missed this one, the next one's not too, too far off, but it's still a little bit of a ways. I'm giving, you know, it's going to be a couple years. So do not miss this. You know, I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to miss this because a, a solar eclipse is going to, it's going to be a sec, it's going to be in the middle of the day and then it's going to be like night for a few minutes. It's just going to be crazy. So if you live along the path between Oregon and South Carolina in that, in that, in that middle ways, you're going to have a really good view of this and it's going to be epic it's gonna be awesome 
Um, do not get your telescope out for this one. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't have to say that. I feel like I shouldn't have to say do not get your telescope out to view a solar eclipse. But some people are going to be like, oh, I want to. And then, you know what? If you see someone with a telescope out, be a good neighbor, be a good friend, and tackle them to the ground before they can permanently damage their eye sockets. You know, pure white light concentrated into, <laughs> into a lens that magnifies it shooting into the back of the skull is not the best thing for them so i would definitely not be giving out to getting out the telescope for the total solar eclipse come august 21st um i know you're like well who's gonna do that you'd be surprised it's been done people have looked straight into the sun with a telescope thinking they're gonna see something you no know they saw pure white light in their eye socket that's what they saw all right next event is going to be november 13th venus joins jupiter it's gonna it's gonna be the same situation as the moon in jupiter but now it's going to be Venus and Jupiter. So you're going to see two planets right next to each other in the sky. And they should be very, very bright um, in the sky that that uh, that particular night. So you'll be able to see that. So if you have a telescope, this one you do want to get your, uh, that one out for. Um, and you can see both planets right beside each other. Really, very, very bright in the sky. No problem. Venus and Jupiter. That will be on November 13th. So something to look forward to on November 13th. If you just love to look at the planets. All right, last but not least, this is number seven on the list. This comes on December 13th, and I've not mentioned one yet. Actually, we missed one already. It wasn't too big, but I'll talk about that later. Duh, I can't not pronounce this word, and I am really sorry to astronomers who are going to be really mad at me when I try to pronounce this. The Geminid? The Geminid meteors? The Geminid. G-E-M-I-N-I-D meteors. Those are going to be December 13th. Um, so we'll be looking at the skies for that one. All right. So now I don't mean we don't. I want to talk about meteor showers unless there are going to be like a lot of meteors. So we're going to expect meteors from 60 to 120 an hour. That's actually not too bad. That's actually worth going out and and it's going to be cold. It's December, going out in the cold and, and watching this because it's supposed to be a multicolored and it's supposed to be a pretty good amount an hour. So it's definitely something to uh, look forward to if you're in the meteor showers. We actually missed a meteor shower last month. It was actually January 2nd and 3rd. Wasn't nothing too big. Wasn't nothing worth sitting out in the cold for. It was only a couple meters an hour, you know. So if you did see that, uh, kudos to you. You got to sit in the cold and watch like one meteor an hour, if that. But it was still a meteor shower. Okay. Oh, important announcement about this meteor shower coming December 13th is you're going to have to wait till about midnight because the uh, there's going to be a waning crescent moon um in the sky and you have to wait for it to set which should be about local midnight wherever you're at um and actually after that uh the viewing will be at pre dawn hours so december 14th so exactly when that moon sets um the shower is going to be predicted to be reach its peak performance so we're going to be seeing about 120 meters an hour which is not not a bad rate unlike back in the day when that comet went by there was actually a couple thousand an hour i wish i could have seen that that should have been that would have been epic that would have been pretty good stuff so 2017 not a bad year for astronomy for astronomy and people who just love looking at the size so um these are your seven most most must see sky events for 2017 um if that's all i wanted to see you go ahead and leave i want to be talking about uh, my channel real quick and since this is a fresh new channel i figured i should announce what's going to be going on i have a ton of ideas for this channel and a ton of ideas uh, the list goes on i already have 26 ideas and i was only thinking for a couple minutes of what i wanted to do i'll be making a list we'll go by here shortly blah all right so anyway i appreciate you watching if you want to see more astronomy stuff let me know um i'll be covering these events hopefully as they're ha as they happen um not gonna make any promises on that one but anyways i really do appreciate you guys watching this video this has been i'm james in this cosmic corner i'm sorry i'm actually a little sick and actually a little nervous to be honest with you because I never really done like commentary before my first time so i really do apologize about that but anyways i really appreciate you guys for watching um keep your eye in the sky for these events coming up 2017 and i'll see you next video